Colby, 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 math.com. In this computation help video, we'll be adding fractions and mixed numbers. Here we have 5 sixths plus 3 tenths. Anytime you have a fraction, you could think of the denominator as the size of the pieces and the numerator as how many pieces you have. So 5 sixths will be 5 pieces, and each piece is 1 sixth of the whole. So we have 6 pieces in the whole, and we have uh, 6 sixths makes the whole, and we have 5 out of those 6 sixths. And then 3 tenths would look like this. We have um, 10 pieces, 10 tenths in the whole circle, and we have th 3 of those tenths, so 5 sixths plus 3 tenths. The tricky thing about um, adding fractions is you can't add 5 sixths to 3 tenths. You, do, you don't have like terms. Here we're counting sixths, and here we're counting tenths. And sixths are larger than tenths, and so you can't combine them. You need, the, you need to make the, the pieces the same size. So we find the least common multiple of 6 and 10, or the lowest common denominator. And you know you could make 6 into 12, sixths into twelfths, but you can't make tenths into twelfths. You can make sixths into eighteenths. Again, that won't work. Twenty-fourths, thirtieths. Now, thirtieths will work because we can also make tenths into thirtieths. So we're going to make both of these into thirtieths. Five sixths can become twenty-five thirtieths. If we multiply five sixths by five fifths, then we get five of five is twenty-five and six of five is thirty. We get twenty-five thirtieths. The five fifths is equal to one. And any time you multiply by 1, you're not changing the value. That's the multiplicative identity. So, I mean, you can see from the picture, we still have the same, the same piece of the circle. This is taking up the same amount of space as this was. Um, it's just smaller pieces and more of them in order to take up the same amount of space. We did the same thing with the 3 tenths. We multiply by 3 thirds, which is also another form of 1, to get 9 thirtieths. So now we have, um, if we rewrite these as their equivalent fr uh, fractions, 25 thirtieths plus 9 thirtieths, now we have like terms. Now we're counting thirtieths in, in each of these terms. If we can combine the 25 thirtieths with the 9 thirtieths to get 34 thirtieths. You can see it here on the picture. We were missing 5 thirtieths here, so I could take... One, two, three, four, five of, the, of these would fill in this hole, and we'd have one, two, three, four left over. So we have 30 thirtieths and four thirtieths. That's one. 30 thirtieths is one and four thirtieths. Now let's look at the four thirtieths for a minute because we're not done yet. We have to simplify if we can. 4 and 30 have a common factor of 2. So we could show uh, 4 as 2 of 2 and 30 as 2 of 15. Then we can factor out the 2 halves because 2 halves is 1 whole. It's the same thing we did up here but just going the other way. We're factoring out 2 halves to simplify this fraction to 2 fifteenths. So we're left with 1 and 2 fifteenths as our simplified sum. So make sure when you're doing these um, these problems that you simplify your fractions if you can. Look for a common factor in your numerator and denominator and factor out that whole. I want to also do one with a mixed number, although it's not, um, it's no more difficult than what we did. We just need to recognize that 1 and 3 eighths is 1 and 3 eighths. And 3 and 1 twelfth is 3 and not 3 and 1 twelfth, 3 and 3 twelfths is 3 and 3 twelfths. Then we can associate, we can say 1 plus 3 plus 3 eighths plus 3 twelfths. And the reason we do that is because it's, it's, the, same, it's the same reason we did, the same reason we changed our sixth and our tenths into thirtieths. We wanted like terms. I have like terms here. I have holes. I have one hole and three holes. I can combine like terms and that's four holes. But we've got, we have unlike terms now in all, all of our terms. Here I'm counting holes, here I'm counting eighths, and here I'm counting twelfths. 
is when you turn the eighths and the twelfths into something uh, that they have in common. And so we start with the twelfths, twelfths can become twenty-fourths, and twenty-fourths multiple of eight, so eighths can also become twenty-fourths. So on the side here, I'm going to, to make my eighths into twenty-fourths. I need to multiply by a third, but I, I, don't, I want all three-thirds so that I have one whole here. So 3 of 3 is 9, so 3 eighths is equivalent to 9 twenty-fourths. The 3 twelfths, in order to make that twenty-fourths, we need to multiply by 2 halves. So we have 6 twenty-fourths. Let's look at this for a second, just to shed some more light on this. We said that the denominator was the size of our pieces, so twelfths are twice as large as twenty-fourths. And so we need twice as many of them, twice as many 24ths, in order to have the same amount. So if you're, if you're halving the size of your, your pieces, you need twice as many of them in order to, to not change the value. So let's substitute. We said 3 eighths was equal to 9 24ths. And 3 twelfths was equal to 6 24ths. Now I can combine these. Now I have like terms. So I have 4 and 9 and 6 is 15. 4 and 15 24ths. Now do 15 and 24 share a common factor? They do, they share a common factor of 3. So 15 24ths is equal to 5 threes over 8 threes. 5 times 3 is 15, 8 times 3 is 24. We factor out this whole, the 3 thirds, and we're left with 5 eighths. So our, our final sum would be 4 and 5 eighths. Okay, I hope that helps with um, common denominators, adding fractions, adding mixed numbers. If you feel like you need some practice on this, there, there's quite a bit of practice underneath the video. And thank you for, the, for uh, putting in the extra time and doing the extra work.